Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a blown out sunset in Photoshop. It's something that's quite common, especially when you're shooting into the sun and you're doing landscape shots. You can get where the actual sun is on your image. It can go like a pure white and just blow out the sunset. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. We're going to turn this image into this image. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschooloffotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a blown out sunset. It's something that's really quite common. If you're shooting into the sun and you've done this before, you will know that the sunset can blow out. You can go just to a pure white. I'm going to give you this file as well so you can practice it yourself. Um, let's just jump straight in and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here is the final image and I've hidden all of what I've done down here in this group. So if I just press the I button here, you can see it goes away and comes back and that's what I've done. Here's the original picture and you can see here that the sunset is what you would call blown out. It's, it's very white. So you can fix that and, and enhance it by doing what I'm going to show you how to do now. We need to use something what's called luminosity masking. That's a whole new tutorial, but I'm going to run through it briefly. We don't have to go through the whole thing to create this effect. We can just do the light parts, which I'll show you in a minute. But here they are in the channels, lights one to five. So firstly, let's delete all of that so I can show you how to do it Again, I just hold down the shift key and select them all, and then I'm gonna drag them to the bin. Go back to my layers, make sure that's off, and here we have our original picture. So the first thing that we need to do is select what the highlights are, because we only want to affect the highlights. We only wanna paint that color into these bits here, not around into the sea or anything like that. And you can do that using channels. So if I go into channels, on the RGB one at the top, hold down your control or command key if you're on a Mac and just click it like that. And it will select for you the highlights of your image. So down the bottom here, you've got a little icon and it saves selection as a channel. So if I click on that, it creates a selection like that. Then I'm going to hold down Alt, Control and Shift. And that is Command, Shift and Option on a Mac. And then I'm going to click on the Alpha 1 thumbnail here. And what that does is it loads a selection, it multiplies it by itself. So effectively what it's actually doing is selecting the highlights even more. So it's selecting the stronger highlights. And again, save it down the bottom here and it puts it as alpha two. Click on alpha two, do the same thing again. Control Alt Shift and click on it. And as you can see, it's changed here. Uh, and again, I'm gonna do it again. Like that. And I'm gonna do it once more like that. So what I've got here is five channels that's only selecting the highlights. This is just the sunset here, channel five, alpha five, and then alpha one is quite a lot of the image. It's the, mainly all the highlight parts in the image. And by doing that, now we can work on specific areas. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna click the RGB one at the top, Go back to layers, I'm gonna press Control and D to deselect everything. Then I'm gonna add a new layer. Now I'm literally gonna paint a color all over the highlight areas that I want. So I'm gonna select the paintbrush tool over here. I'm gonna come over to this section here, hold down the Alt key or Option key on a Mac and select a nice orange that I've got already in the sunset. That will do there. You can see that the color's changed over here in my toolbox. 
Then make sure that your opacity at the top here is at 100% and I'm gonna right click and my hardness, well it doesn't really matter to be honest, I'm just gonna bring it all the way up like this. Then press return, I'm gonna make press the bracket keys and make my brush really big and I'm literally gonna paint all over the highlight areas of my image like this. And you're probably thinking that I'm mad at this minute in time, but this is actually what I want to do. Then I'm gonna to go to channels. I'm gonna select the, actually I'm gonna select alpha free and I do that by clicking control and selecting on alpha free. Then I'm gonna go back to my layers and I'm gonna add a layer mask on that there like that. And what you can see is it's just applied it to them, uh, them selections, that selection, sorry. And then at the top here, I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay. And let's go off and on like that. And as you can see, it's just enhanced that a little bit. And I, on purpose, I selected some areas down here as well, because I want it to enhance where the sun is hitting as well, give it the same color. Okay, then I'm gonna add another layer like this. Uh, make sure you deselect, so just in case, Chris Control and D, it's already deselected anyway, which is great. And I can use the same color if I want to, but actually what I'm gonna do is just select another one, just to, just to make it a little bit different. So I wanna select one that's too much different. Um, so something similar like that. Same thing again, paint over the highlight areas like this. That's great, that'll do me like that. Go back to your channels and this time I'm gonna go for alpha four. Hold down the control key and press alpha four thumbnail and you can see it's selected all them highlights. Go back to your layers, click layer mask and there it is again. But this time it's applied it to the slightly more highlights if you like, like the, the stronger highlights. Again, I'm gonna click on the actual layer and I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay like that. So, so far, it's just very slightly enhancing it and that one's enhancing it quite a lot. Now, the next thing I want to do is do the same thing, but this time in the real highlight areas and that is the sunset here. So, I'm gonna to go to a new layer again and this time I think I'm gonna try and select um, a really, hold down the Alt key and select a really kind of orangey color if I can. Yeah, about there, great stuff. And I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna make a smaller brush and I'm gonna paint just around in these highlight areas like that. Okay, brilliant. Then I'm gonna go back to my channels and I'm gonna select Alpha 5, which was your, your strongest highlights. I'm gonna press down the control key or command on a Mac, click that and you can see it's just selected the these areas here and actually I'm gonna paint it a bit more up here as well. Let's go back to here. Now it's only painting it in the selection at the minute because I've got it selected and it actually doesn't matter what way around you do it to be fair. Now I'm gonna add a layer mask again like that but this time I'm gonna to go to overlay just to see, yeah, that's not bad. This time I think I might go to hard light, like that, yes. I'm gonna change it to hard light and I'm gonna change the opacity of it and bring it right down. That's it, just something like that. And there you can see, see the white of the sunset and I really, I don't like the whites of sunset so I always try to put some kind of color in it. You can see that I've just added a slight bit of orange to the sunset. So let's group them up. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layer so you've got all of them selected. Press command or control and G to group that all of them layers together. And that is the before and that is the after. So that is how you can enhance or fix a blown out sunset in Photoshop.
Don't forget I've provided you with this file. You can get it from the links in the description of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Also, tell us in the comments below how you got on. Like, did it work for you? Did you like it, etc. And if you've got any other ideas of tutorials, let us know in the comments because it really, really does help us out. We've also got a really, really good learning community on social media. So come and join us over there and get involved in the conversations. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.